welcome. Today is a very special day because I decided to film my favorite makeup look for you. This tutorial is basically my most asked about look. My sisters ask me about it all the time. My co-workers ask me about it. At least most of them have. And today I wanted to share this look with you because one of the eyeshadows that I'm going to use it's going to be discontinued. Anyhow, this is my from zero to a hundred look, so without any delays, let's jump right into this tutorial. I am automatically going to start by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Eden. Usually, when I take my makeup seriously, when I want my eyeshadow to last and to pop, I start by working on my eyes and then I move on to my foundation. So right now, we are going to prime our eyes with our favorite primer. Remember that you do not need to use the products that I use. You can simply replace the products that I will be using today for products that you truly love. And I apply a little bit of it and then I simply blend it out with my finger and then for some type of reason I always end up involving the beauty blender as well. I feel like my finger just beautifully melts the product and the beauty blender just accommodates what my finger didn't. And remember this is simply the makeup look that I like best. So I'm about to share my go-to, my zero to a hundred. I am going to be applying the color Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek and this color is simply going to set the primer that I just applied. The beauty community is kind of going crazy at the moment, isn't it? I'm currently using Makeup Geek eyeshadows and for that reason I kind of thought about it. I mean if it's a sponsored video and the person truly enjoys the brand then I guess it's okay. It's cool. They are earning their money. But I don't know. I guess the entire thing is just very controversial. Moving on I will be applying the color Chicadee. And this is going to be my transition shade. It's a very beautiful yellowish orange color. And I am going to try to kind of create a sunset effect on my eyes. So this color, it's very, very nice. what we do to one eye we do to the other let's remember that we are not professional makeup artists here but we do want to try to make the makeup look look as best as we can transition shade. Now we move on to a deeper color. I am going to go in with Coco Bear by of course Makeup Geek and I'm simply going to apply it on a smaller blending brush and I'm going to apply the color a little bit tighter on my crease. blending out the color. 
Now the color rule by MAC is going to aid us a little bit. I'm taking the fluffy blending brush one more time and I'm going to start applying this color on my outer corner and then I'm going to slowly drag the color in and I'm going to be blending everything that is already laid out on my eyes. chickadee one more time and this color I'm going to use it a little bit differently right now I took a rule and I started on my outer corner with the color chickadee I'm going to start in my inner corner simply because the color is a little bit lighter and then I'm going to brush it towards the back the color chickadee is simply lighter it lends itself more for this step again it helps me create a very nice sunshine type of eye look. Not really sunshine, I'm going more for the sunset, but it came out like that. <laughs> and you notice that this is just simply marrying the entire look. Now we come to the part that I've been very eager to speak to you about, and it is a lid shade. I am going to be applying the color pop Super Shock Shadow in the color Middens. If you know me, if you've been following me, if you've been subscribed to me since the beginning, this is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows. This is one of my most repurchased Super Shock eyeshadows. So it was a very, very bad, bad day when ColourPop announced that they were going to stop selling some of these eyeshadows. This color was one of them. So if you know about a color that can dupe middens, please do let me know what eyeshadow that is on the comments down below because I really, really adore this color. This is my go-to. Again, I really enjoy this color. This is my 0 to 100 look, guys, so don't let me lose it. Please, if anybody knows about a shade similar to this one, write it down in the comments down below. So I am going to apply the color with my finger and I'm just going to spread it all over my eyelid. And as I'm spreading, I'm kind of blending with my finger as well. This is just a very beautiful brownish, reddish, purplish eyeshadow. I can't determine what color it is, but I love it. I think it makes your eyes pop and stand out very beautifully. And of course, it rocks with red lipstick. And if you know me, red lipstick is just my, my go-to. With the color Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek, I'm going to take the small blending brush I used previously and I'm simply going to hug it around my lid shade. I'm going to apply this color very tightly on my crease so that the entire eye look can come together. on the eyes but let's remember that we are not done with the look we are simply moving on to other parts of makeup and I am about to apply the YSL touch a clad blur primer all over my face recently I really enjoy primers like this one maybe because I've been dealing with dryness the foundation that I will use today is the Dior skin forever foundation and my color is number 21 it's a foundation that I usually gravitate towards when I want flawless skin. And this does really good covering pores, 
It sits beautifully on your fine lines. That's what I like about this foundation. So I like to apply my foundation in sections and I've mentioned this on several videos because I feel like it just blends better on my skin. It gives me the time to accommodate and push the foundation onto my face better. I am going to apply the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm simply going to apply this underneath my eyes since my eyes have already been worked on. And I'm simply going to blend this with the Beauty Blender. And I'm simply going to blend this now with the Beauty Blender. What am I talking about? The NYX Sponge. setting my under eyes with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and this is just a very nice powder. It's not too yellow and it brightens up the area very nicely. Sorry, I'm kind of looking at the camera on the side because it's kind of serving as my mirror, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> look a little scary right now but let's take into account that I'm about to buff everything out with a powder so right now I am going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 220 and I'm simply going to apply that everywhere where I didn't apply the banana powder and as I'm doing that I'm simply going to start blending out that yellow powder that I applied on my face simply an elf brush. I use very affordable brushes. And see, things are looking a little better. Now all we need is the bronzer. For bronzer, I am going to be using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. And this is my favorite bronzer currently. The packaging is beautiful and of course the color is gorgeous. If you know me, I'm not the type of girl that likes a super warm bronzer and I feel like this color is just perfect. And I'm not really contouring, I'm simply just bronzing the face. But of course I'm doing it with a color that also helps me contour. So it's serving as both.
banana shade one more time and I'm simply going to slowly carve or not really carve but just mark my contour a little more and then I'll blend that out right now now, very quickly, I will do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be back in a flash. I am back. I did apply the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal and in the color Burnett. Now I'm just going to blend out all the powder that I left on my face. And now we are going to start by finishing our eyes. I am taking the color Cocoa Bear and this small pencil brush and I am going to apply this color very tightly on my lower lash line. I am also going to take the color Rule by MAC and I'm going to blend that Cocoa Bear with Rule. Last but not least, when it comes to the eyes, I am going to apply the eyeshadow nylon. And this is my favorite highlight by MAC. It's my favorite, just creamy, pearly inner corner highlight, nylon. And I'm also gonna apply it on my on the tops of my lips so that it can call attention. I do want to mention that for eyeliner, I did not wing it, I simply made a thin line and I used the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. For mascara, I did apply the Benefit Roller Lash. I am going to be applying the MAC Sun Basque Blush. And if you've seen my pan video, this is one of the products there. This is probably my favorite blush of all time. It gives a beautiful glow and a very nice color and sheen. And then I'm just going to simply spread a little bit of color elsewhere. Last but not least for highlight, I will be applying the Estee Lauder highlight in the color Heat Wave. And I'm simply going to apply that on the highest points of my cheeks. For lips, I am going to apply the Milani True Red Lip Liner and I'm simply going to line my lips with it. I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Uncensored. And we all know here how much I'm obsessed with red lip colors. This is the look that 
we came up with. One more time, this is from zero to a hundred, at least in my point of view. We've come to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and look for my social media. I do have an Instagram. Join me there if you haven't. I usually post a post or another here and there. Also, don't forget to leave me your request down below. And I'll see you around next time. Have a very beautiful day or a very wonderful night. Goodbye.